What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, honey. Be back to deliver another daily buzz for you guys. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my day ones. Those of you who have been rocking with us from the start, I appreciate you guys so very much. Cross watches, you are welcome here as well. If you just so happen to stumble across our channel and you see something that you like or here, feel free to join our colony by hitting the subscribe button down below. You may also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do upload content to the channel, you guys. As always, tell a friend to tell a friend if you're interested in any personals or donating to the channel or sending me a deck out from my Amazon wish list. Check the description box down below. All of that information is listed there. We're going to go ahead and dive right into the message, you guys. I don't know what this reading is going to be about. Whatever comes up, comes out. We're going to talk about it, okay? Keep myself protected as I um, channel these messages. Keep my colony protected as we receive these messages here. Let's go ahead and dive right into the reading. Let's go ahead and dive right into the reading. What kind of energy is present around my collective spirit, please and thank you? It says, I can't believe you went back to her after all that she did. Okay, so, ooh, him or her. So, you may be dealing with someone that ghosted you for a previous connection that they were involved, with, involved in. I hear some, I'm hurt. I'm so hurt is what I hear. Somebody is so hurt. I'm seeing someone just balled up in the bed just crying. So this may be you feeling this way that your person um they left you to go back to a karmic energy it's not too late just come through so this is hmm whoever this energy is this is someone who's in the energy of waiting on their person you know masculine or feminine we house both you guys these readings are not gender based put yourself where it fits in the equation so this is someone i feel the energy of someone is really hurting at this time they're waiting on someone to return they're showing me um they're showing me like three of wands like waiting on the ships to come in but it's also like waiting on something like i feel like someone turned their back on you and left you chose over you chose a con other, another connection over you or went back to a, a connection that they were previously involved in and you, you may be in the energy of waiting on this person to return you guys, my advice to you, um, I'm going to give the message, but I'm also going to give you the truth, the real. Don't don't put yourself on hold, right? Don't wait for anyone to come back towards you. Your job is to keep moving forward on your spiritual journey, on your mission. Let whoever do whatever they need to do and catch up with you in a long haul. If this is person, this is someone that you're meant to be with, this person, you will meet up with this person again. If not in this lifetime, in another lifetime. But don't put your life on hold. Like you're only, you're doing your, yourself a disservice service by waiting you're only hurting yourself like sometimes it, it hurts more to hold on than it does to let go um i feel like what you're being asked to do at this time is let go release yourself i hear release yourself from this burden like ten of wands energy put this down release it let it go let it go this you may be someone um this could have been a codependent relationship like you could you could have codependency and issues um, it says you've been heavily on my mind lately. So yeah, it's like I feel like your day and night, your day is filled with thoughts of this person, which is unhealthy. This is very unhealthy for you if you are in this type of energy. Um, I pray for you that this does get better, you guys. Like I said in, in the beginning of all the readings, learn how to call your energy back. Um, something can only exist in our life if we feed it, if we give it energy. You're giving this situation a lot of a lot of your energy. And I feel like so weighed down, like it's weighing you down. Like I'm seeing someone like in a depressed stage. Their room needs to be tidied up. You could have a pile of clothes on, on the floor or in a corner that needs to be taken care of. Your job at this point is to pour into your own cup. Some serious self-care is needed right now at this time. Look, you are draining you are draining my energy. I want to cut this card. And you may be thinking about letting it go, but at the same time, you're still holding on to the idea that this person is going to return. So it's like you're on the fence. Um, should you stay or should you go? The answer is for you to release. Like you really need to release this energy. This is draining, y'all. I'm only four cards in and I feel really heavy energy. It says you've been heavily on my mind. You are draining my energy. Like you're you're I hear killing yourself like you're you're wearing yourself thin. You may be someone who is a worrier, a over a overthinker, but you know those who typically overthink, they overlove, they overgive. You could have given too much in this situation. Oftentimes this sounds seems to me like a situation um 
like you could have poured so much into this person and it it i feel like it ultimately it turned into a turn off you know sometimes people don't want who want them it's sad but it's true like you know like i don't know how to explain it it just it, it is what it is if you are trying to push me away, you are on the right track. And that's what I'm saying. Like, too, you gave this person too much of your energy that it turned them it turned them away from you. Wow. But I feel like every time this person comes back, you allow this person to come back. And this is why you're waiting on this person because you know this is this this is their game. Like this is their routine. A big part of you wants this person. It says, let's give us a chance and stop hurting people that we are not meant to be with. Like for a long time, I feel like you've been trying to get this person to see themselves the way you see them. But this person is just not there yet. I feel like part of them, I don't know if they will ever be ready for what it is that you're offering, but this person doesn't see the connection the way you see the connection. And as hard as it may be to hear, um, you you have to come to a place to where you can accept the truth. Like this may just not be for you. Uh, just maybe not at this time or maybe not at all. And that's something that you have to be okay with. I feel like this, this connection was brought to you to show you... Um, to teach you about self-love, about choosing yourself above any and everything. Like, you know, some sometimes, like, no matter how much we love a person, we can't make them love us back. You know? I feel like you're, you're, you're waiting on something that may never come. It says, why did you keep coming after me? If you are only going to let me go. And this is the thing. I feel like this is this person. Like this person could have. They could have followed you for a long time. Like this could be someone. I feel like you know. They're, they're, what I'm seeing is like a situation. Where someone kept pursuing you. Kept pursuing you. Might have in the beginning kept turning this person down. And then finally you gave in. And you gave this person a chance. And this is what happened. Like you felt hard for this person. But if you would have stuck to your guns initially. And not you know went towards this person. That was protection. That was your spirit team protecting you from something. Like you went, I feel like you went against your intuition and you got burned. You know, like I'm not trying to come down hard on you if this is resonating for you. But I need you to know that sometimes we have to take accountability for the role that we played in the scenario. Like this, just holding on to this person is you, you, you're, is going to, your connection is going to be stuck, stagnant. It's going to be at a stalemate. If you're not moving forward in your own life, this person is also staying stuck. The feminine energy, whoever is the feminine energy in, in the connection of the two, the feminine leads. So whatever you do, the masculine is, it follows. Like the feminine typically wakes up before the masculine. The feminine leads the connections, right? And what you're doing right now is you, you're nine of pentacles in reverse. Knight of pentacles in reverse. Like knight of pentacles upright is a slow moving energy, you know. Like that's a slow steady energy. But knight of pentacles in reverse is an overt overt um obsessive overthinker like you're overthinking this situation so much that you're not allowing yourself to move forward you need to um go outside touch grass or you know align your chakras do some meditation like you need to get yourself back into alignment you need to discover your own truth they're showing me ace of, ace of swords you need to cut through the bullshit like sometimes what we want is not the best thing for us and at this time this situation is not what you need what you need is a release And I feel like this is why it hurts so much because this person could have chased you down. But the longest time, this person could have chased you down, right? And when you finally gave into this person, and I feel like this per on their end, this person, you they could have chased you down for so long and you rejected this person for so long that by the time that you did accept their offer, this person just wasn't prepared. They weren't prepared. This person was never prepared for you to say yes to them. They were always prepared for you to cut, you know, like, Queen of Swords that ass, like leave them, leave them out in the cold, like or not accept their advances or not accept giving to their offers, right? Look, here we go. I let my guard down with you after you pursued me for so long. What was the point if you were going to turn around and run? Thank you, Spirit. I like when Spirit come through and they confirm what it is I'm saying. Like, I feel, I feel like you feel hard for this person, even though you knew, like, in the beginning, like, something kept you away from, from 
something kept you rejecting this person's offer and i feel like you went against your intuition your intuition and this is what happens you guys this was also a lesson for you to learn how to be more self-sufficient like your intuition is one of your strongest superpowers like you a woman's intuition or man whatever you know man or woman our intuition will never lead us astray what happens is we always find ourselves in the most vulnerable and messed up positions when we go against our intuition myself included I've been this person. I've been this feminine. I've been in this energy before. Don't never go against something that you know, even if you can't see the bigger picture. Always trust your intuition. Always follow your North Star. Your intuition is your guiding light. That is your intuition is your greatest protector. It serves you the best when you listen to it. What else, spirit? This is heavy, y'all. I'm so sorry that you're going through this. He can never replace you. So at this time, you may be, um, you may be using, you may be doing what this person does, right? Like instead of, you know, healing and moving on from this situation, you turned into the person that at this time you hate. Cause I'm more than sure you have as much as you love this person. You, you probably hate them at the same time, right? You're upset at this person for going back to someone um from their past or like you said stop hurting people when we know who we're meant to be with but at the same time you're using someone else as a void filler you could be talking to someone or messing with someone have a situation going on with someone who's not your person but this is you just trying to fill up fill a void you're still actively trying to turn away from the healing process if you look at these cards it's a mirror like you don't want to face you don't want to face the mirror like you're missing this person so, so, so much. It says, I miss you so, so much. I miss so many things about you. Like this is giving codependent. Like this is a, be a situation that you're going to have to heal from. Like, um. It, it's, this, is a to this is a toxic situation, you guys. This person all pushed you away and then you ran back to this person. You could suffer also from abandonment issues as well. I wonder if your feelings for me have changed. It's like this person shows you on so many occasions when they leave. Uh, and here it says, when I hear a sound or knock on the window, I look to see if it's you. Like, you know, like you're waiting. Like you're putting your life on hold waiting on this person. Please do not wait on this person. Like this person has showed you multiple times how they feel about you, right? And it's, it's like you keep trying to blind yourself to the truth, to what you already know. You need to cut through, cut through your own illusions. I feel like you're you're eluding yourself from the truth. Like you know the truth. It says it bothers me that you stayed on the fence and never gave our relationship a chance, right? You're still holding on to what this person did in, instead of healing from it. And I'm not taking in away from anything away from what this person did to you, you guys. But I also say, you know, you'll hear me say this a lot. Things don't happen to us; they happen for us. This situation. You need a lot of self-healing. Like, you need to do your shadow work. Like, you need to cut this cord. Some of you may need to do a cord-cutting ritual or get with someone who knows how to do such. Like, you need to learn how to find yourself. I feel like you lost yourself in this situation. And what you, you're tasked with at this time is returning back to the drawing board. Who Who are you? What is it that you want? Like, you know, this person, they sat on the fence. They ghosted you. They left and came back so many times. Like, this person just played with you. There was a lot of two of pinnacles going on in the situation. Like, you know, like what you were giving to this person. This, this person was not picking up what you were putting down. Like, this this, this connection. Look, it was a lot of secrets hidden in this lover situation. I hope y'all can see this. Okay. There was a lot of secrets that was hidden in this connection. A lot of things, you know, like a lot of things that you didn't know about this person. When you met this person, this person could have been coming out of a previous situation. Because someone you're saying here that I can't believe you went back to to her or after all that she did, his or her. But right, just how you were dependent on this person, your this person that you're you're viewing for could have been dependent on another situation, codependent on another situation, you guys. Now, like I said, it said the card reads her, but it could be him or her, right? Look. Mm -hmm. This person kept going back to someone who broke their heart multiple times. Just cause this person was they were dependent on her whoever this energy is. Your person was dependent on this energy, and I feel like you're dependent on your on your, this person. Like, this person was never going to love you the way you needed to be loved. 
this person was never going to offer you. This person could have felt like this person that they were dealing with prior to you, the person that they kept returning to, was their their soulmate, like their twin flame, like their their end all be all. And they don't even realize the the extent of the heartbreak that they endured in this situation. And they keep running back. Like this they could be addicted. I oh addicted. They could be addicted to this person. This could be someone that they have a trauma bond with, right? This person will go back and they'll continue offering to this prior situation because, you know, in their mind, this is this person feels like that person is who they're meant to be with. This person would never they would never be able to love you the way you need to be loved. Like this person, there will always be lies with the moon here and trickery, deception. This person will always I feel like always they will always go back to that situation. As long as you're dealing with this person, you allow this person to go back and forth, back and forth. Um. And as, as painful as this may be to hear, like, they they have no intentions on dead in this situation. They have no intentions on dead in this situation. Like, they, I feel like whoever, no matter who they deal with, they will always return to this person. Wow. I'm not going to sit in this energy too long, you guys, because I know this is hard to hear. Because it's hard to deliver. It's hard to deliver. Look. This person is always going to be indecisive between this person and whoever it is that they're dealing with. It's all they always going to mess with this person. This may be someone that they have um this may be someone that they they have kids with or they have a legacy with or they have family with, you know? Like yeah, this they're always going to go back and work with this person. I feel like no matter who this person deal with, this person is always going to be in the picture. This past person because they love they are they i hear infatuated like you know it's something about this person that they just can't um they can't let go of and i feel like it's because this person is not learning the lessons you know what happen is um when you're dealing with a karmic person like your person is dealing with a, a karmic energy until your person learns the lessons and vibrates out of that energy they are going to always attract this kind of energy even if it's not this person they're going to attract that same energy in a different body because your person is not learning the lesson. Look. Here we go. Can't make this up. This devil energy. It's a trauma bond. These two may have amazing chemistry in a bedroom. Like this person may do things to your person that they never experienced before. Like I hear keep them with the sex. Like there may be. I wanted to say earlier it could be sex magic. Like magic involved. Spell work being involved. But now that I see this here. It may be spell, spell work involved. Like to manipulate this person's emotions. To feel like they can't let go of, of this energy. Like you know. It could be some sex magic involved. Hold on just a second. You see with this high priestess energy. They say they could be dealing with a dark high priestess. This person that your person may be dealing with may be a dark high priestess. Like a fake a, a fake high priestess. Right? It's like they thought this person was their, their twin flame, their soulmate. But they could be fake. Like a, this person they're dealing with is a karmic. But this person put on appearances like they're the real deal. And the whole time they're a karmic. Like this person that they're dealing with, they may have spiritual gifts as well. But um, this person, they, sit in, they play with theirs in the dark. This person works dark magic. They don't use their gifts for good, especially with this moon being here. Like it, it's it, it's giving um it's giving manipulation, especially with this moon being here and this two of swords. Like it has your person not knowing they don't know their own truth with the seven of swords, and this your person has to. So I feel like in this situation, this is a classic case of rejection is divine protection. Just know that as much as it hurts. This is for your own safety. I hear safety like for your own good. This is for your own safety. That you shy away from this person. That you heal from this. Let me get some wild shoot oracles. Look. And here we go. Your sex is magic. That's what I'm saying. Whoever this person is dealing with. This person. could. There could be possible spell work involved this person could be manipulating the elements this person also wants you to know that the tears you cry they cry tears too like i'm like i'm hearing i don't know why like this person just don't know why they choose to do the things that they do to you like they can't quite figure it out
past life karmic causing current life interruptions so this could be an energy that probably followed you guys from past life um i know we were meant to be together so part of this person knows i feel like their higher self knows that you will be their best bet but there's still some lessons that this person is not learning from this karmic and this is why they have to keep they keep returning to that same karmic or you know karmic you know different bodies but with the same energy because this person is not learning the lesson right you make me a better person like this person is they're not heeding a warning like this person just cannot come out of whatever it is that keeps this person trapped with this karmic energy this person is just not coming outside of themselves it says i went back to someone from my past they sold me a dream it wasn't real i shouldn't have chose them i made a huge mistake and that's what i'm saying and you're saying you can't believe they went back after all she did like you you this person may know that this person practices spell work okay after all that she did so this may be something that's not even hidden this person may know of the secrets of this dark energy over here but this person could have they could have um ruled your person in under the skies that things were going to be different that they had changed they weren't going to do this shit no more and this is how this person was able to rule your person i, I hear trap i hear a trap but i also hear take this person away from you i hear let me make it right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. see this card that fell it says your success is my success your win is my win your money is my money so i feel like this is this this karmic ammo they might they may definitely have kids together or forged a family like you know so this person may use the um emotion manipulation like this person is a whole lot of things whoever this person is that they're dealing with like you know like what about our kids so you're gonna take your take their money and give your money to another you know b-i-t-c-h or somebody else or whatever like we have kids here you're supposed to be here taking care of the kids and this and that the universe wants you to trust them with all of your heart you know even if you don't come back together with this person which i feel like if you do it will take a long while it will take a while you guys but the universe wants you to know that this is for your greatest and higher good like it didn't happen to you it happened for you trust trust us with all your heart is what i'm hearing is divine protection the rejection is divine protection they are protecting you he said look i've been doing my own research about twin flames i know who you are to me so this person could have thought they could have know something about twin flame soulmates and this person could have thought that this past energy was their soulmate and now that this person is doing more research this person well not more research now that they they had a whiff of your connection and the connection with the karmic this person is seeing who, who's true and who's false I only want you and the karmic knows it. They can sense my attention is elsewhere. They can't block my, my view anymore, but it may be too late. So just be mindful. Like even though this person may be under some kind of spell, um, or whatnot, this person is aware of who you are. Like they know that you would be the best match for them, but they just can't seem to um unattached if you i don't know if y'all can see this kind of dark like but this masculine and feminine they're really tethered by a chain like you know there's a chain holding them to these two together like i do believe spell work is involved in this situation i do believe give me one more course but then i'll wrap up the reading you guys My heart hurts thinking about you being with someone else. So, yeah, this person is feeling your absence. They may not reach out, you know, and it's because, like, just know that they, they may not be reaching out, you guys, as a means to protect you. But also, your spirit team is protecting you as well. Because this is a lot of heavy energy. This is, I hear demonic. This is a lot of demonic, demonic, like, this is heavy. It's something else that's being worked. Something else is being worked. I hope this helps you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.